What's up everybody, Joe Sting right back here again on the House of Horror. I got another review for you today. This is Pumpkinhead Ashes to Ashes. This is the third installment of the series and I'm a bit of a completist so uh, when I posted my Pumpkinhead 2 review uh, someone said that uh, they enjoyed Pumpkinhead 3 the, uh, the most out of the series. So I said what the hell I'll go ahead and check out uh, you know the uh, last two installments of the uh, Pumpkinhead series haven't heard a whole lot about them uh, but I am a bit of a completist so I said what the hell I'll go ahead and review those films here on the channel I have a feeling I'm probably not going to be too happy with that with the uh, fourth movie forget whatever uh, it's Pumpkinhead 4 but it's got some you know ridiculous title it's not actually called Pumpkinhead 4 but anyway Pumpkinhead Ashes to Ashes Pumpkinhead 3 came out 2006 and this film uh, was shown on the sci-fi channel and had I known that I probably wouldn't have bothered to watch it but I, I found that out after I had seen the movie and I don't know if it was actually like a sci-fi original movie or they just purchased it you know whatever sometimes sci-fi just you know buys movies to show on their channel that you know they didn't actually have anything to do with the uh, you know the making of the film or whatever but um, yeah anyway stars uh, Doug Bradley, Lance Hendrickson, Lisa McAllister, Tez Panzer directed by Jake West and this film came out 2006 I don't know if I mentioned that yet but 2006 quite a few years after Pumpkinhead 2 so you know big big lapse in time here and uh, really picks up you know uh, when the first movie left off doesn't really take into account the second movie at all um, it's of course you know Doug Bradley has a decent sized role in the film Lance Hendrickson really just uh, name credit only he doesn't really have a very big role in the movie at all I wish he had more of a uh, role in the film but you know I don't know I guess I guess he's a, a name draw you know I wish he had played you know the same character you know something like that but anyway uh, very uh, basic plot of the film uh, Doug Bradley is a doctor uh, of some sort and he's uh, been removing organs from some of these people from some people in this town and then disposing of their bodies and townspeople find out about this and uh, they uh, a, a few of the members of the town summon Pumpkinhead, you know, they meet the uh, the witch. I think she may have the same name she did in the first movie, Haggis, something like that. Uh, they they meet the witch, you know, they 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 summon the vengeance demon Pumpkinhead, and it you know goes around killing the people that they wanted it to. And uh, you know, amidst all of this, the the boy in the first film who just not really a big character in the first film at all but uh, he was the one that, that told Lance Hendrickson where to go to find the witch I think that was his role in the first film anyway he's back a uh, different actor but you know supposed to be the same character they, they show a few flashback scenes and then uh, Lance Hendrickson appears to him his character from the first movie appears to, to him only and uh, there's there's a few shots with you know with him giving some ominous messages you know etc and that's basically the extent of Lance Hendrickson's role in this film. But um, yeah, you know, demon comes out, kills people, you know, whatever. Uh, it's, that, that's the basic plot of the film. Not really a whole lot going on. The uh, uh, I don't really want to get into the plot any deeper than that. It's uh, it's not not all that great. But um, a few positive notes about this film. The uh, it, it does have quite a bit of practical effects in it but that's all discredited by some awful CGI but the uh, the initial scene when they when they summon the vengeance demon I think is really well done it, it actually <clears throat> you know they all slit their uh, hands open and drip blood and then from that it uh, starts turning into this you know demon but at first it comes up and it kinda looks like Lance Hendrickson and then it just you know morphs into uh, you know the pumpkin head creature which it looks a little bit different in this film than it did in the past two and uh, you know it looked a little off uh, I wouldn't say it looked bad but you know it obviously relatively low budget so I'm gonna cut it kind of a break but I, when it did practical effects I did enjoy it quite a bit it, you know felt a lot more real to me than, than the CGI. CGI was you know 
2006, low budget, you know, not a good mix for for uh, CGI. Uh, a couple of scenes look really, really bad, but, uh, you know, uh, let's see. Doug Bradley does a good job in the film. Um, of course, he's aged quite a bit since he uh, played played Hellraiser, you know, played Pinhead. He looks uh, quite a bit older. But, you know, Doug Bradley's a cool guy. I, you know, appreciate him. I appreciate Lance Henderson. Just wish he had a bigger role in here. Um, but overall, I'd say this film is very forgettable. I, I wouldn't really recommend it. I wouldn't say you're missing out on much. It, it does continue the story, but I don't really think it's anything worthwhile. You know, nothing uh, nothing amazing happening here or anything. So overall, I'd say, you know, you could probably skip this one. And I'm going to go ahead and say you can probably skip part four as well. But I am going to watch that film and review it here on the channel. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you next week. Peace.